In my last video, I was doing the 3D mapping and uh, field mapping with Skybars with a drone. But what if drones are not welcome? Maybe this place is not really suitable to surround things uh, with a drone. And this is why I have the idea to take the DJI Osmo Pocket with me. And what I will do now, I first try to map the stone. So I will surround the stone and then uh, do a 3D model after it. Let's see if this works. For creating the 3D model, I will use Skybrows again. As I'm not using the app for flying a drone, I will pick the universal upload. And here you can already see the model which was created. Let's have a look. This is our stone. If we zoom in, I think it's quite impressive the quality I get out of it. So very detailed. If we're just taking the DJI Osmo Pocket, I'm really quite satisfied with the result I get. This is created by taking just one video circling around the stone. In fact, I did it two times. The first circle close to the ground to capture the side of the stone and the second circle more from above to capture the top of the stone. For the last test we took a stone. Now let's go for something bigger. Let's try to map a jeep. How can we do this? First I will do a round, a circle around the jeep to get it from side to side. And then, similar like the Sky Browers app, I do a second circle, but this time with a little extension with a selfie stick, and then trying to get more from above to get a full view of the Jeep. Will it work? Let's see. For creating the 3D model of the Jeep, I again picked the universal upload and uh, this is the result I get out of it. So if we look a little bit around, you can see it's quite detailed, especially from the side. So very nice details. And the only thing which is not as good is the roof because I was just wandering around with the selfie stick. So, but otherwise, I think it's quite nice the result you get. So even here we've got lots of details we have over here. So let's turn around the other side. Really nice quality just by using the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. On top of that I did another test but uh, this time I took my drone in my case the DJI R3 with a 3x lens and let's have a look how this looks like. Now this is the result using the DJI R3 with a 3x lens. What I did was uh, I used the point of interest functionality of the intelligent flight modes and uh, surrounded the Jeep and as you already can see I'm, to be honest, a little bit disappointed regarding the quality I get out of it. So the Rubicon, you see here, is hard to read. If I surround the Jeep, it's a little bit blurry for me. So not as many details I got out of the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 video. Now if you look at the roof, for sure this is better because uh, the drone was surrounding the Jeep from a higher altitude. But other than that, I must admit that the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 for 3D modeling is better than my beloved DJI R3. So for comparison, I took uh, screenshots of the models and put them side by side so we can better judge the quality. I think it's quite obvious if you look at the left hand side, the result from the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, 
it's quite detailed what we have over here in comparison to the result on the right hand side from the DJI R3 it's a uh, blurry yes on the other side you have uh, more of the surrounding in the final result but uh, the quality if you want to do 3d modeling i think i clearly vote for the dji also pocket 3. that's it for today i hope you like my little comparison uh, let me know if you will consider now the dji awesome pocket 3 for your next uh, 3d modeling